perfect spawn sacks ready. Hey everybody, we are talking winter steelhead and tying spawn sacks. A really awesome technique to do and super easy. But I wanted to show an alternative way of getting these set up. Now standard is single eggs like this from a salmon or steelhead. You can cure up and do on your own. But if you don't have those available, Posky Bait Company, for example, is one that has a few different ways to go about doing it. The classic green or blue label trout eggs that we've grown up fishing with. Those are great. The newer fireballs are another one I want to try out and showcase here in the video. And then recently they just introduced their premium cured trout eggs. So it's a variety of ways we can go about it. And maybe you don't have salmon or steelhead row available. Now getting set up with spawn sack tying is very simple. You need a set of mesh like you see there at three by three, some of the stretchy thread. You can get the pill floaters. That'll help if you'd like to drift fish your spawn sacks. And there's also a variety of colors of the mesh material. I like the three by three based on the sizes of water I fish, but there are larger sizes available too. So we wanna dive right into this here and a quick easy way to store this. If you go to the dollar store, you can get a ton of different varieties of packaging for whether you're gonna have a lot of row, uh, excuse me, spawn sacks on a trip, or if you want just some small, simple bait containers, you can get them there. Now I lay out a grid pattern for how I go about setting up these spawn sacks. Taking just a plastic spoon, you can scoop out 10 to 15, maybe even 20 eggs, depending on how big you're looking to make the spawn sacks. I chose the green color in this situation to have a little bit larger profile and a little bit different color contrast. Now to tie a spawn sack, if you're not familiar with it, you go ahead and grab all four corners and slowly start working it into a ball as you see there. The stretchy thread is allowed then to wrap around the top section of that material and you break it back over itself and it really makes a tight little ball perfect to fish with and you'll go through the same process for everything else each of the corners folded in slowly rotate it into a ball tie it off and then you're good to go you can go about this pretty quickly once you get the hang of it so it makes it nice so you can sit down and tie up quite a few in short order and when you have those cured eggs, it makes it to where you can always have them available. And that's why I really like to be able to showcase what we're doing here today. Because, again, you may not have access to where you are um, available single eggs that just come from a fish. You might be able to go buy one of these products and be able to have a supply at any time of the year. So for me, this really made a difference on having just a variety of options on the water because I really like to be able to do something different. And up here in the Pacific Northwest, spawn sacks are not as common as they are Midwest and everywhere else on the East Coast. So you may be able to bring a little different uh, technique to your water that you're fishing as well as the ability to bring about some more bites. Now, make it straightforward and easy once you have everything tied up. I just did half a dozen on this color pattern. Just cut off the excess tag, put them in your storage container, and they're all ready to go fish. And they can fish right then and there, or you can have them sit in the fridge for a day or two and get them all ready. Now, next, we're going to take a look at the fireballs and our green label, Potski, and the blue label. So... You can see here, we'll open up the jars just to showcase the differences in what they look like. The premium trout eggs are a little more natural colored. You can get a variety of different colors in the fireballs. And I'm just going to do a couple different um, of the sacks on these just to showcase how they all look in the long run. But again, that pink color also is shrimp scented. And that's the uniqueness of the fireballs themselves is they are scented and they're not a true actual salmon egg. They are a synthetic egg to my understanding and uh, really look good. So you can fish those as a single egg or in a spawn sack like that and they will really fish well. You can kind of see the difference there. More like a size 8 millimeter bead or very close to. 
And uh, when you put probably half a dozen, maybe eight or ten in a spawn sack, it's a perfect bit of something just a little bit different um, and giving some nice profile. Your classic green label trout eggs. These are pretty standard when it comes to trout fishing in general. Um, always have a box of these around at some point, but they make a great spawn sack because those eggs have so much scent in them and you can make a really good um, tight sack with that and i really like using these myself over the years it's been just a great way to tie up you know maybe a dozen for a day and you can have just a variety of options available so again just adding a couple there and making a different color pattern with the pink and again it's all up to you on how you want to go about it with color conditions in the water. But I found that if you want to do something that matches up, you can do the pink on pink like this. You could do the white, which you'll see here in a minute, or that chartreuse sack. There's the peaches. And you can just see just in the variance right there how those color contrasts stand out and are different. Now we're gonna lay out the last set here with some white and we're gonna do the premium trout eggs. These have me the most excited to be honest because these trout eggs are something that are not only cured, they also have an ability to be able to be something that you can just hold on to. They don't have to be stored anything particular. They're a little bit smaller on the actual egg diameter, but they look so good. They got the little, almost red dot, so to say, of a, a fertilized egg and just a killer pattern. So when you make up one of those spawn sacks, again, dependent on the size you want, they are as perfect as they can get. I was so excited to see how well these turned out. And for my excitement, something to try here locally this season. So I really hope you guys get a lot of this and how simple it can be. But at the same time, guys, try something different. These are not being used locally very often, so you might be able to set yourself apart and be able to be in a awesome situation. Perfect spawn sacks ready. <laughs> Good fish, my dog.